Hey, and what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new Fishing Baron C video. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying some of these tutorial series, as well as some of the live streams here that we're rolling on the channel. A um, few things just as you get started here. So this, as of this recording, is done here February the 6th. So this game comes out February the 7th. So if you're catching this before, then uh, consider you to uh, you know consider consider purchasing this game. At least look through some more of our videos here and see what you think about this game. Uh, I personally actually kind of like this game. It's a nice, good chill game you know there's been a lot of um you know there's been some people that have commented on the channel uh you know hey it doesn't have this it doesn't have that i don't think this is very realistic and but keep it in mind you know this is an indie developer um it seemed to be a very attention to detail and the look of the game they're using the unreal engine uh which is a very beautiful gaming engine i'm just uh, I'm, I'm very surprised at how all this stuff comes across we'll be doing a full one over uh review on this game uh we're in the second boat right now i couldn't pronounce them because we're all in the uh the coast of norway so you know we're still i'm still kind of getting through the game itself um but uh but i think we're going to be able to go through three boats three four and five as of right now there are five there's also dlc planned already i'm not gonna i'm not sure if i can say that of what it is but i actually do know what it is uh but i can't i'm not going to say it yet until i get a go ahead green light from them uh, but anyway, I do know what the first DLC is, and I think it's going to be something that a lot of us are going to really enjoy. Um, but at any rate, so what I wanted to do was kind of go through some of the things. So our previous tutorials, the kind of walkthrough videos kind of looked at how to best kind of maybe, you know, look at your first trip out. What are some things you want to kind of look at as you uh, make your way out into the sea for the first couple of trips here? I figured out pretty quick that it was better. I wished I'd have known some things going into it, and maybe that's something that you may want to, you know, kind of think about. Say, well, hey, maybe I want to have that. Maybe I want to, you know, figure it out on my own if it is. Now, go watch another video. Uh, this one's going to kind of give you at least a baseline of some things to do and kind of maximize your. You know, I always say maximize the input of cash without maximizing the output of effort uh, to enough to where it feels like you're making a fair wage for the fair amount of work. And this, and really, it's obviously not work, but it's the fair amount of time that you're spending sitting here at the game, kind of waiting to progress forward. Um, I will say this: there is a very, there's a lot of stuff. We're gonna pull up the map real quick. Uh, so the, these are the main areas that we're in right now. Uh, but I've also gone and explored a few of the other areas, um, trying to unlock boats, trying to see new areas, see what new areas of the map looks like. Uh, it is really cool once you get near the edges. There's all like ice capped over and, and uh, icebergs out there. So if you do drill uh, too far off to the reservation, it will get you. But I like some of these pass throughs and stuff. Come up here and mess around up here. Pretty nice around the islands and whatnot. Uh, and then around here, it's kind of yeah, it's just nice little trips here and there. Scenery is very pretty. Um, you know the the sidelines and stuff are very pretty. I mean, it's just it's just a, it's a well put together game. I, I do like it. Um, a lot of people, you know, like I said, have kind of hit. Well, it, it doesn't have this and doesn't have that. Take it for what it is. It, it's a fishing game. You know, it's kind of like we've done with Gold Rush and other things on the channel. ATS. You know, I, I kind of made the the I kind of made the assumption. In one of the comments that it was kind of like you know was kind of like getting mad at a racing game for not allowing you to drive and haul your car to the racetrack um, there's a certain amount of realism that comes in but also depending on how the engine and how the game itself uh, is supposed to function some of the things really aren't you know, they're not they don't really need to be there um, that's not the essence of what you're trying to do so Take it for what it's worth. I'm always honest with my opinions. Uh, I never just uh, you know go up there and say, "Hey, I give this five stars out of five. Um, you know, I, I'll I'll reserve a full review here uh, as we get through it. But anyway, today let's look at long lining. Uh, I want to look at long lining and netting. So let's go ahead. Let's grab a few of these guys, and then we're going to come back and set a net on the way back in, uh, picking up a long line. So we'll pick up both. Be about 30 minutes today, I think. So welcome to the SS Carry. This is my wife's name. So. Uh, welcome to the SS Carry. So we've got a long line in front of us now. This is a thousand hook long, long line. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what actually uh, you know we wind up getting out of this thing. Uh, I would imagine it'd be pretty good. It's it's at its maximum peak. So if we're in a good area, uh, then we should be good. I do like driving from the outside. Uh, just a little tip trick here. Uh, make sure you go to the outside of the boat before you do this. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull up here beside our uh, first pylon here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the haul. <clears throat> the thing is, you may have 
nine fish on here may have nine that you actually hook yourself but you'll catch a certain amount of pound of fish uh, outside of this that that'll be totally different than what you're actually you know bringing in with this nine fish here so uh, don't ever you know don't ever get completely like all been out of shape about this part so the idea, especially with long line fishing, is when you get out here and you start looking at different places to do, you know, start laying your stuff across or at least try to gauge where you think things are going to be rolling. So a lot of times the spots and the big hot spots of fish will move in particular ways. They'll move areas, they'll move um, south, they'll move north. So make sure that when you do try to line up your lines, try to at least move in the direction and have them set for when things come through. So you can see right here, we just got a ton of achievements just popped up. 444 Pollock, uh, Cod, Haddock, and Redfish. Kapollock was what we were fishing for because um, we've done a lot of fishing on some of the other ones. So we're kind of trying to uh, balance them out a bit. So I'm going to say no to the gutting of the fish. Um, let's look at our storage here. And let me slide the uh, let me slide the camera over just a little bit. There we go. Um, so so, so uh, good thing is, all the to, the, to, to in the tutorial-esque sense, uh, a lot of these will give you the age of all your fish and how long they've been, you know, sitting down here chilling. So let's go ahead and put, uh, we've got uh, Einar here. He's been he's been with us from, uh, for a while here. Let's go and get Einar in on it, and let's go ahead and have him uh, hand gutting some fish. He's okay on this. Not too bad. So he'll start go ahead and get some of this stuff. We'll go ahead and our, let's go ahead and steal our way back into uh, to port here. Now, I usually typically tend, especially building up on the game, I, I typically tend to like to try to stay fairly close to here and don't venture too far out. At least not until I have the boat. And you can kind of see, uh, as we get into some of these waves and stuff, the boat really, 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 really does, uh, you know, get down there close. So uh, I don't, uh, I don't like messing with that too much. So. A couple of the other things that I kind of noticed, kind of messing around with this, it depends on what you like to fish. There's a lot of a lot of fishing that is available in this game. They do have a nice wiki here and in your uh, logbook. So questions about anything bait, certain baits catch certain fishes. We kind of went over a little bit of those things here in our first video. Um, so I, I really can't wait to get into some of the other big ones where you have things are a little more automated. You know, your controlling crew. Um, you know, you're control controlling them. Uh, more so in a management style and you're basically just piloting the boat captain of the boat uh, and you're not really required too much of stuff you know the hand gutting here this guy is pretty slow at it so we could always um, I do like doing this before we go in so let's go ahead and I think he's already down here doing it but some people you know some this sometimes this stuff is a little a little on the cheese side um, let's see let me get my uh camera here so we can I got some we get some stuff on the desk cleared out so we can do this right <laughs> so he's already so we're just gonna be so these are kind of like the thing of these is like little mini games um I kind of like them I, I mean it, it offers a little something because I'm sure gutting a fish while the boat's rocking back and forth at some point you kind of get used to you know reading all this stuff but I will say this go ahead and just do it before you get in because it'll cut down on your weight and your trip back uh or unless you want to try to squeeze all that last little bit um, you'll get all the uh, the weight from the gutted fish off and it'll all be packaged and uh, you'll get a little bit more money for it if it's already gutted once you get into to port so as you grow oh that was terrible so as you get going uh, the idea will be to have more money so of course because you want to get in the big boots mm, that that wasn't even a... okay not too bad <laughs> And it'll pretty much, we'll do probably, I think it's probably neither one, one or two more. Should be like one or two more, and then we'll be done. Oh, that was good. And you kind of see as you get more and more and more and more and more, and see you gutted 8,000 kilograms, so that's not too bad. And you get added on percentages um, per, I guess, your, your, your return? Is that any of the thing? There you go. So oh, we're, we're kind of weirdly, kind of weirdly standing there with Einar. Things got a little close there on the last fishing trip. <laughs> I can see now. So everything in yellow has already been gutted. So it was taking him a while to do it. So I guess if you were on a long trip, uh, you probably could stick a couple of people doing the, the gutting. There's also machine gutting as you get up. So 
the the way that this boat works i mean not the boat but the way that the game operates is that there are just multiple levels of steps of how you do things whether it's long line trawling net fishing um, and then you've also got the handgunning, you've got machine gunning, you've got freezers on the boats. All these have storage options into the boats. Um, so once we go in here, we can kind of look at least a little bit of what I've got on here. And you can kind of see uh, what kind of uh, storage options we've got. We've, we've got most of the engines, some updated radars. Uh, I've got some new info, you know, well not new info, but i got some new updated info here from the channel wise. Uh, just on some things that I've been uh, kind of picking up along the way. So let's go ahead, let's fast travel back in. And let's get us back, uh, here we go, let's get us back closer in. There we go, let's try to save us a little bit of time here. Now, we'll say this, if you are looking at fast traveling or doing a lot of fast traveling to get your boats, it does not count when you fast travel. Uh, it does not count down those kilometers that you need for the next boat. So you'll need to go ahead and, and to drive as much as you can all the way through all this to kind of accumulate enough mileage, um, your kilometers you have to accumulate enough for your next boat. So, all right, let's do. Uh, Trying to look at our. Uh, I think I've got some netting. We'll have to change the netting over on the boat. So let's go get one more. We'll fast travel out. Now, hold damage is very much a real, rear thing. Real thing. And also just um, just your general uh, abuse on the boat, especially around in the waves and stuff, you will get hull damage with some of that. Uh, if you bump up against the piers and docks and stuff, you will get damage on that as well. So here's all the sailfish here. Let's see what we had, 80,000, and we're coming out of here, 234,000 just on one trip. So making money is not the issue on this. There's always ways to make money. Uh, as you can see, the gutting is, is positive. So on all these fish that were... Uh, of certain sizes you can see your revenues uh, greatly intensified here over being able to gut the fish um, big time all right so there's that let's uh, let's go ahead let's run back out all right let's see if we can uh, get a little weird there with Einar let's see if we can All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and grab our next one. So uh, this will be our next long line there. So we're going fast travel out here. Um, now, as you start with some of these, you'll notice that they'll go yellow and then they'll go red. So the idea is to try to get these. Really, I'm still learning how to do this and time it out right. You want to try to stay as close as you can. Um, you don't spend any any less time when you fast travel like this um, but what you do do is you uh, spend a lot more oil I mean oil you spend a lot more gas fuel you spend that a lot faster uh, when you're out here and you do it this way so then it becomes a strategizing you know maybe esque type issue where you may have uh, some areas of this that may be let's see if we can put him on the long line haul let's see what happens So I think he should go ahead and do this. Now, whether or not he does all of it, I don't know. We'll see. But you'll burn a lot more fuel when you go and do that. That uh, do it in halftime. So if you don't really bother, if fuel's not really a worry to you, then you know don't worry about it. But you're not going to lose anything else. Time doesn't necessarily speed up. You're you know getting out to your lines doesn't speed up. The problem is I always sit too too far out. So I always wind up losing one line. Uh, completely because it basically everything dies off so all right so look at there he's already gonna do it for us I think oh seriously come on INR wow I can't believe he missed okay he okayed on that one <laughs> we're gonna watch our worker work yeah that's what it's like when you got that second boot. Oh, come on, Einar. Come on, man. That's two. First time I've ever done this. All right, you got that one. You got two big old redfish. That's always good. <laughs> Missed. Sorry, boss. <laughs> good gravy. All right. 
Was that three out of four? Woo! <laughs> God. Uh, all right, let's just go and put you resting, man. You need to go down and take a break. Fresh fish, a thousand pounds. Well, that actually worked out great. So we'll send him back down there because we'll just use him to cook a repair. He's a great engineer. <laughs> He's great on the engineering spectrum. All right, let's go back to our map. Let's uh, let's fast travel over here. <laughs> All right, should be pretty close to it. Let's see, there it is, right in front of us. Yeah, there she blows. So I kind of like this part of it. Now you can really take this and do the ultimate kind of realism thing. You could go in, you can try to skip hours inside the harbor, uh, which would be a more realistic thing, or you have enough set. The problem with these boats, at least with the smaller boats, is that they're more like your short fishing trips. Because by the time you set one, and go set another one and then we'll drive back to it it's still not quite ready so you'd still have to go to port but if you set all three of these out at one time you cannot pick up one drive one up one drive one and then they all survive so one of these has got to be a dud and then the other one hopefully is like a really 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 nice one so we'll see what this one uh gives for us here this should this should bump us back up there hopefully this will be a good one we'll see what we got here so I'm gonna do it this time, so we won't have nobody. Uh... All right, so we got seven fish on here. So I think that was some Pollock there. We got two red fish already in there now. I think that was the same thing there. Oh, sorry, that would have been cod there getting used to looking at all these so there's there's a uh, pollock or haddock i'm still trying to figure out which one of those are which there's redfish and another redfish very good deal well i still got a nice uh, a nice amount there yeah sure we'll go in and gut them while we're here because i'll get this done quick oh man we missed all that you don't really miss anything you know, but you do, it's almost like a bonus when you gut the fish like this. Can you see our percentages? So the better that you do this, uh, the more weight that you keep for yourself, which means the more weight of the fish, more weight of the fish means more money in your pocket at the end of the day. So that, you know, I mean, look at it as something that you might want to do if you want to look at, um, you know, certain crew members that might be really good at this and then they do have uh the machine gutting so i haven't gotten to that part yet so we'll hopefully have more of that in a um in, in our next you know kind of walkthrough tutorial slash let's play um we'll see what we've got on that front now i will i will note we also have some things like the freezing i'm not sure how some of that uh how some of that's going to work i'm kind of excited to get into some of the more uh, some more automated processes of the fishing of the commercial industry here at least and see how they've got it put into the game what we have basically is a press review for uh, you know live streaming and kind of getting into the game doing that kind of stuff so as the game itself uh, comes out here on Wednesday and stuff hopefully we'll have basically all the boats and we'll have everything ready set to go so that way we can start really putting down some good uh, final end of the material give you guys an idea what kind of stuff to shoot for uh, as you get through so Let's see. <laughs> it should be. Yep, I was about to say it should be about it. Good deal. All right, let's go ahead and hop on here. We'll go ahead and... Uh... So then we'll take everything back with us. Now, if we wanted to, while we're here... I'll tell you what. While we're here, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and let's get here. We'll fast travel here. And... Let's see what we have on here. So we've got uh, 500 hook line... So let's go ahead. Let's throw out a. Let's go ahead and throw out a line here. So we're about half full, but we'll go ahead and throw this out on our way back in. So there's our first view. And now the thing with this is basically you're going to drop out 50 meters worth of line. And on that 50 meters worth of line, you're going to have 500 hooks attached to it. You know, jug to jug, so to speak, buoy to buoy anyway. Uh, and that'll be what we're fishing with. So the netting works exactly the same way, except it's uh, basically a, a catch net drag weight. Um, and it's not like you're dragging like a shrimp net. It's not like a shrimp net like that. It's a, it's almost like it goes down to the bottom, almost kind of like rolls up, fish swim into it, and then swim down, and they kind of get trapped in the net. And, you know, 
It's uh, not as, uh, some would say, inhumane as a, uh, you know, one of these trout lines where they get hung up on it. Then, you know, they just sit there and swim aimlessly through it. So um, let's do, uh, we'll go ahead, go this way, go that way. Sure, why not? And we'll get in there. I mean, fast traveling is pretty, uh, oh lord. Alright, whew, I thought something was about to happen. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do this real quick. Uh, this is working out perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up for a net. We'll get this fish uh, loaded off here. And then we'll get a, uh, we'll get a brand new net put in. And then we'll go ahead and throw a net here. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to uh, speed up time. Or at least uh, we'll kind of sleep it off here. And then run back out and then we'll grab a net. And that way you guys can see what it's like doing both. Now this this vessel will do both. Uh, some of the other ones will do a few other things like trawling. It'll do netting. It'll do long line. It'll do basically all of them. But these, this one right here does netting and long line fishing. Alright, so we'll sell all that. So not bad. So 335,000 kroner. That's our uh, Norwegian, and we've also got a job has come through. So at the bar, low cod supply. Uh, especially to see, this is where your big money's made. I'm glad the jobs came through because I was wanting to do this tonight on live stream uh, as of Tuesday, and all of my jobs, everything went away. So there you go. So that is what uh, they have. But the problem with stuff like this, you have to look, is you only have 10,000 kilograms. They're looking for 18,000 kilogram of cod in one trip, I guess. So you're going to have to have the next step up. Uh, which means we got to be getting close to a boat, I would assume. Uh, what's our dock? What's our... Oh, two kilometers before we get to Catherine. So we might be able to have that here by tonight. So there was our first one. And then obviously there's the boat that we have now. Uh, and the Catherine will be next. So that's yeah, kind of cool. I'm looking for that. The one that I'm really looking forward to is the Lunar Bow. I don't know why this one's just been, I just, I've just liked the look of this one. It's got the big old like ice block breaker in the front. Uh, it's got all the lifeboat stuff. I mean, the other one's, the other one's good too, the Hermes. Um, I mean, it looks legit too, but you know, I don't know. There's just something about this one's just like crazy big, but I don't know. There's something about the Lunar Bow, man. It's, it's, like, phew, it's gone. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go back here. Oh, it's a slam up, tie up job there, guys. Y'all, y'all did a great job. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Let's move back over to fish market. Is that where we can change over? Unbaited long lines. Sure. Let's remove our bait from those. And after we do this, what we'll have to do is we've left that one line out there. So let's go ahead and fuel up. Go ahead and repair, repair the hole. Why not? So here's the upgrades. I'm going to say we'll kind of go through some of these as we get these uh, boats and we start looking at upgrades and whatnot. You can always change your names to whatever you want to. Uh, Storage-wise, you can see how the storage options work. Uh, plus 15, 3,500 kilograms. Standard engine, the only thing we have not done is moved up to the Stage 3 engine. Kind of as this reminiscent of a Need for Speed-esque type deal. Radar, so radar upgrades are when you drive, uh, when you captain your boat there through the water. When you look down at the, uh, the blue line that it leaves, if you have the uh, second radar upgrade, it leaves a much wider swath behind you. So a much more wider range of dynamic of, uh, you know, of water actually gets pulled right into it. So that's always a good one to go first off. Cutting table, then that's for, you know, that's for you. That way you can kind of get all this stuff. Long line hauler here uh, or the net hauler. So that just changes your apparatus that's used to pull all this stuff in. So we're going to go ahead and put the net hauler in because we already got it owned. We just need to equip it. And there it is, even though I'm stuck in the middle of it. And then we've got standard church light stuff here. Now, I will say this. I don't go anywhere above one because upgrade two or three is a much bigger and nicer light. But it is way, way, way too, like the gamma on it's way too bright. It's almost pointless. So I, I did those, but I, I kind of reverted back to the upgrade one because that one actually worked the best. So now from there, all we got to do is we've got to replace... Uh, our damage nets. So we've got those damage. I've got some 120s. So let's do this. Let's just, uh, yeah, sure, why not? All right, so we've got some 75s, 120s, and a 165. Let's go fishing.
I mean, really in itself, I mean, the, um, you know, the, the, um, it's really a beautiful game. I mean, the engine itself, uh, is, oh, sorry, my camera fell down there. Uh, it's really a really, really nice game. I, I really do like the graphics. I, I've always loved the Unreal Engine. It's, it does have this dreamy effect to it. Um, but it, it is a good one. I, I do like it. A lot of those, uh, I've seen a lot of the 3D artists and, and kind of indie game artists have always gone to this for its lighting and its wind and its water. Uh, all the physics properties that it has. Uh, there's been a few engines that are always kind of game breaking when it comes to guys wanting to you know, use those for their artist renderings and all that kind of stuff. They use this engine to be able to set their scenes up. So I don't know, it's just cool. I mean, if you get into that artistic 3D stuff, it's pretty slick. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's pull our map up. Let's fast travel out to... Um, see what we're going to find. Oh, here we go. Let's just go right here. Perfect. Right here. Oh, let's replace the waypoint. There we go. All right, so there's that. So... Um, there we go. All right, so from here, you just got to pick out which one. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing going a little bit. And then let's go ahead and throw the 165 in. So once you do it in, what you're going to do is you're going to try to set and keep this balanced in the middle. So keep this drawn out straight because what you're, I guess what you're trying to do is you're trying for everything to run out smoothly off the backside. It's a nice little animation as well that they've got here on their uh, on their nets. I like that. It's a nice uh, nice touch, guys. <laughs> so this one, of course, you're 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 uh, you're letting out 165 meters of netting. So quite a bit. And some of these, I will say this, make sure that when you start to set these these nets, whether it's long lines, netting, uh, or, the, or the netting, fishing, either one of them, make sure that before you do, you get the boat going so that it's got time to pull all that stuff through. Because what will happen if you pull the plug on this thing too early uh, and you start yanking line out and you're starting at like maybe one knot, you'll set that whole entire 165 meters at one knot. So... And you don't really speed up too much. See, even pulling that off right there, uh, they still moved on us just a little bit. So, how much has only been set for five hours? All right, so I'll tell you what. Let's do this for the sake of video. I don't like uh, just doing a ton of cutting in my video. So, let's go back here to fast travel because I'm going to show you guys in the 30 minutes what I'll be able to um, <clears throat> what I'll be able to do here. So, final waypoint. Boom! All right, so now we're in uh, with the crash and the bang. So now here's where you can skip time. So we at least probably want to skip about uh, for that one. I'm probably going to skip about. Let's let's skip ten hours. So let's check our map now. So this guy's right here. So let's skip another six, I guess. And let's see what we got now. All right, so we're looking there. Cool. Uh, now our hook lines up here are just perfect so if you wanted to from this point what I would suggest doing is go pick up the long line first and then come back and pick up this on your way back in town but just for the sake of the video what I'm gonna do is pick up the netting first since we've already done long line that's where I would normally go uh, but let's go ahead and let's uh, let's um, let's go ahead and detach from the dock here and let's go ahead and get back out there and let's pick up our net I want to kind of show you guys the, the mini game with the net uh, I think all these are going to have a mini game. I'm not sure. I have not done and played uh, kind of through any of the upper level ones. So this is kind of where we're at now. Um, it's got a nice little mini game with the uh, you know your standard uh, standard W A S D keys. Um, yeah, some people call it hokey, but it's a mini game. It's what it is. It's okay. <clears throat> all right. Probably honestly not going to have a lot out of this because as soon as we drop that. They moved so a lot of times when you do um, <clears throat> a lot of times when you are able to kind of look over a, a particular amount of time as you pull in jobs and as you start looking at different 
you know fish species to catch you'll notice that they start staying in certain areas but you'll also notice that over time if you're looking at them or paying enough attention to them that they'll move from place to place um and that could be you know i mean that that can be a little bit in this case you know it can actually be <clears throat> quite a bit a distance wise all right so here's our first one Oh, I guess they're wanting us to go to the other one first. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I think they wanted you to go to the back one first. I think they want you to go to the one that you dropped last and then reverse pick it up. I think that's how it works. Forget about that. I'll probably have to turn around it. I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky and they'll let me pull it up from here. Probably not. Alright. There we go. Let's get on the right side of history here. All right, now let's try it again. Oh, oh. They're not letting us haul our net in. Oh, these things have been sitting long enough. I need to do anything. We'll see if I'll let him do it. Ah, there we go. I forgot we needed two. Oh my gosh, we needed two people, so you got to put him on the net hall to help you. So he basically pulls the net in and you do the stuff. Dad it. Okay, there you go. Life lesson to you got to hire a worker before you do netting. Dad it. All right. So as you miss these, if you miss them, if you miss these guys, then it will um, it will damage the net. So if you're perfect before the fish goes off, then you're good to go. And storage is full just on one net. So usually netting usually gets you a lot more money um, most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time it does. So we'll go and do this, then we'll run it back in. We'll sell it. So make sure you hire a guy. I can't believe I almost for, I Well, I did forget that. Y'all have to forgive me on that. So I did forget. You do have to hire. Um, do you have to hire a guy? And once he's hired, you got to have him out there to help you, and basically he just helps you get the net in. Uh, but it will not let you. It will not let you fish though without having someone hired. But it does not prompt you, as you can see. It does not prompt you. Hey, once you get this guy from out of the bed, have him, you know, get up here and help you start working. <laughs> oh, not too good on those. Golly, Pete, man. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason. I, I kind of get the feeling there's no rhyme or reason to how how these these you know circles at the top and bottom how they interact with the boat i don't think they have anything to do with it i think they're just supposed to be there to you know let you know which direction it's going to pull you should be the last one hope you got one more for me okay and that was it all right almost ten thousand gutted and they should all be there they are all stacked back in so let's go ahead and uh open up door here there we go 
<laughs> so now you can see here on the back, at least especially with this one, uh, once you actually get everything, you know, get everything, you know, kind of put back up in crates and then you're off back up to the, to the port and to the dock, uh, it will all put these in as like fish fillets on ice or whatever, you know, they put in here. Uh, preserved salts or whatever, I don't know what else they put on fish. Uh, but you also have freezers in the bigger ones. So you have fish freezing that you get more storage and you get a longer life out of those so that you can spend actually a little bit longer out on the water in each trip rather than having to go catch and then come back, catch, come back, catch, come back. So that's kind of the only, uh, you know, the only catch 22 when it comes to the smaller boats is that you just can't stay out as long um, you're just limited on space uh, and you're limited on the amount of time that you can stand out. But, you know, that's part of fishing. That's part of kind of working your way up. So this is basically, what, uh, three long lines and uh, one net and a partridge in a pear tree. Um, and let's see what we get here. So I had 328,000 kroner. Uh, my camera is holding that up. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's dock in here. All right, so low. Wow, so we went from 337 up to half a half a half a million kroner. <laughs> and a really long dock lines. All right, cool. All right, well I think that's gonna be it for me. This is this is absolutely perfect. So um, this gets us right in. So this is basically your long lining and your um, your netting, net fishing. Um, now there are a few other different ways and you know, we've looked over that on our very first one um, So besides doing your you know, main you're getting history. I mean you're uh, you're getting started and whatnot fishing tools your baits uh, The fish the money all this stuff is right here in your wiki So as you pick this game up, you want to look through some of these things We kind of did go through a little bit more in detail about how some of these things operate and how much they you know What they do, but this is what you've got long line net fishing trawling uh, pelagic trawling, bottom trawling, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to the bottom trawling, and then the Scanmar system. So all of those kind of uh, you know give you a uh, give you a one two when it comes to how much fishing you can do. And we're assumingly hoping that as the game comes out, as things are curtailed, we may have some new uh, elements come in from the fishing that we'll be able to do at, you know on the outside. I know everybody on the channel screaming for crabbing, so that would be an extra one that we would have. That'd be a totally like subset. Uh, of stuff outside from from netting and all the other trawling and stuff now I don't know whether or not we get into any kind of like game fisheries or anything like that I mean, that's kind of a little bit on the it's kind of on the outskirts of more of not less not necessarily your commercial lines So I don't necessarily know that I would I, that's always been suggested here in the channel I'm not sure if 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 the game fishing will be a thing, but we'll see if the other stuff is um, but outside of that, I mean, it's a great game. Um, so if you're just watching this, if you're watching it here as it is now February the 7th, which is release day, I think it releases today at 1 p.m. So uh, feel free to come back. We are going to be live streaming this tonight. And I will also say this, for those that are watching this video, a special secret, if you do not want to buy the game, but you're maybe looking to see like, well, maybe I'm on the fence, maybe I'm not, but I would take a free copy of it. Well, we're going to be having two free copies to give away. We'll find some way uh, to give them away. I have no idea how we're going to give them away, but it's going to be an educated guess of some sort that's going to get you a copy uh, here of uh, Fishing Barrent Sea. So special thanks to Astragon uh, Entertainment as well as Miscellaneous Games. Those guys uh, hooked me up. So thank you guys. Big thumbs up to y'all. Uh, they said they've enjoyed the streams, enjoyed uh, seeing the chat, seeing what people are saying about the game, and enjoying seeing the comments as well as some of the uh, the uh, some of the other comments that have been, uh, you know, of course respectful, but also have been, hey, this would be nice if this is added. So, uh, you know, all this stuff is going to be welcome. Oh, with beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Uh, coming in 602 a.m. Uh, that's incredible. I almost saw the sunrise right here on the game. That's crazy good. Um, anyway, uh, so come and check out with us here Wednesday night. So we will be streaming a little fishing, Baron Sea, and hopefully we'll have uh, some big dog uh, boats out there that we can actually do and kind of showcase those as well, and not just what we've been doing here. Uh, but anyway, continue to stay up here with it if you want to try to you know keep up with what we're doing here boat wise. Uh, please continue up here with the series here. We'll have all these in a playlist as well as live streaming these uh, for the next couple of weeks, kind of getting these things in. Let's see where this game goes and see what kind of updates, uh, all that kind of stuff it brings. So anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's been real. It's been fun uh, hanging out with everybody in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed.
enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next live stream where everybody everybody is welcome to come in and hang out with us have a good time uh it is a wonderful time to chat always so remember guys life is a journey travel well travel it well with those that enjoy being around you for who you are and not what you can do for them that's my motto that's that's what it is that's what i'm gonna yeah that's my story and i'm gonna stick to it so anyway guys i'll see you peace out everybody